What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Raw Soul, whose name sounds like the Winged Dragon of Raw, so very cool name, who's bringing a really cool team. I really love the fact that it's bringing the Scolipede, the Butterfree. Um, I once swept my friend James with a Butterfree back in um, Sun and Moon days. That was fun. But nevertheless, um, Raw Soul is bringing a really cool team. Um... What do I want to start with is my question. And that's always my first question when it comes to Wi-Fi battles. Is who's, who am I going to start with? And to be honest, I'm going to start with Magnezone because I actually have the body press specifically for the Ferrothorn. And I don't think he's going to expect it. And I, of course, got the Magnet Pool. So if he starts off with the um, gosh darn Ferrothorn, he won't be able to switch out. And body press is just simply amazing for this, um, this particular Ferrothorn. This is why I brought in the, um, what's it called? The body press, I almost forgot. So, yeah, so he brings out the shiny Scolipede, which is a beautiful shiny, to be quite honest with you. And I'm gonna start Magnezone. I'm just gonna go ahead and Bolt Switch. By the way, if you guys have not checked out the last Wi-Fi battle, please do. It was a good Wi-Fi battle. It, it was a really good Wi-Fi battle. I was missing a little bit of brain cells on that Wi-Fi battle, unfortunately. And if you guys watched it, you know why. But, um, yeah. Okay, so this thing gets Power Whip, so I'm not going to go Quagsire, because that's just asking for a Death Wish, to be honest. So, we're going to go with Mama Milk, the Milk Tank, who's... Ooh, Swords Dance. Scary. Very scary. And honestly, I could have gotten away with Thunderbolting. But at the same time, not really because of speed boost. They would have outsped me the next turn. So I'm honestly just going to fire punch. And I hope I live an attack from this, from this uh, Tripitim, Trip, Tripitim Min. It sounds like Vitamin or something, um, which I'm not going to be able to. And we get knocked out and the speed boost is at plus two now. So that does not look good for me. It does get Earthquake. So obviously we do not want to bring the Magnezone in. Do I just lose? I'm going to go Quagsire here. I think I just lost to a Scolipede. Wow. I, I, all I, I just got to hope for a, a power with miss. Please, please. Megahorn. Okay, I should be able to take this. Even at plus two, I should be able to take it. Woo! We barely take it. Okay, so we're going to Scald here and get rid of this gosh darn um, Scolipede. That was a lot. And I don't have unaware. I don't have unaware. And I don't... Uh, yeah, unaware actually does matter because it, it, it ignores the, uh, the sword dance. But, wow, that just did way too much, to be honest. Don't Dynamax on me. If you Dynamax, we're going to look for another Wi-Fi battle, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to Toxic here. Just kind of... Okay, good. I got the Water Absorb, homie. Thank you for the delicious, nutritious Water Absorb. I really appreciate that, so... We're going to go ahead and Toxic here. It's getting hot in here. I knew I should have brought my fan or at least kept that door open. Woo! Okay, so five. Whoa. I, I don't know what the heck. That's a Citrus Berry, right? It's a Lumberry. Oh, yeah, Lumberry. I don't know where I got Citrus from. Honestly, I'm going to recover it up. This thing can threaten me with the Power Whip also, but I don't think it's packing the Power Whip. I really don't. So we're just going to go ahead and recover it up here. Get some delicious, nutritious health back. And really, the only thing I'm afraid of is the Ferrothorn when it comes to the Quagsire. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and Scald. So I want to hope for a burn here. It doesn't matter if it's on the Ferrothorn. It doesn't matter if it's on this Gyarados. I really hope it's on this Gyarados. I really do. Okay, so he withdraws. Go into the Ferrothorn. I know you want to bring it in. Fry... Who? Okay. Frylock is the Ferrothorn. This is exactly what we want here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Scald. Get the burn on it so that... So that um, Magnet, um, Magnezone can take the Power Whip, and that is absolutely beautiful, my friends. This is exactly what we want here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I'm going to go out into the Magnezone. I got the Magnet Pool, like I mentioned, and you already saw. All I'm going to do, once I come in here, I'm going to press the, the Body Press, and Ferrothorn is no more. So I'm going to take a free Pokemon here. What you going to do? Oh, oh, okay. Butterfree comes out, which is actually perfectly fine for me. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to Volt Switch out of there, and I'm going to go into the Verizian in case this thing wants to hit me with a Sleep Powder. I'm not going to let that happen. I am not going to let that happen. So he withdraws the Butterfree, rightfully so. 
And it's gonna go into why? Why'd you gotta play me like that, homie? All right, so we're gonna just bolt switch out of here. Do a little bit of damage to Frylock. So my plan didn't go as planned, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do, um, honestly, Verizian's close combat should be able to take this thing out. I really feel like it's gonna take it out. So burn damage is a thing and that's gonna be enough. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Close combat, if you switch, you switch. That's perfectly fine. And you don't. So Frylock, we didn't even need Magnezone's job to get rid of Frylock. This team is actually better than I thought it would be. That is awesome. So really quick thing that I wanna mention. Somebody in my comment section, I don't remember who it was. Um, Ask me what the black lines on my screen were, especially when I go to the switch screen or at the beginning of the Wi-Fi battle, or, or not the beginning of the Wi-Fi battle, but um, like on the team preview, uh, team preview page. Those black lines, uh, it's not my capture card. I actually did some research as far as that goes. I already tried to switch some HDMI ports and um, and cables, and it doesn't work. Um, doesn't get rid of it is what I'm trying to say. But apparently, it's something with Nintendo's hardware, specifically the card. Um, as far as how it receives the, the capture, because I'm using Elgato HD60 to record, and that's that's essentially what I was told, and that's bas that's basically what my research indicated. So I can't fix it, unfortunately. I apologize. Hopefully, this is something that does not happen in the future. Because if you think about it, it they go away once the battle starts. So that to me doesn't make sense. Okay, so back to the Wi-Fi battle. Majin Buu, that's a sick nickname. Not gonna lie. I'm hoping that this is not a Magic Guard um, Clefable because I really want to get a Toxic off and hopefully, hopefully do some shenanigans to this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Toxic and this is gonna let me know if I should have or should have not hit the Toxic. I'm hoping it's unaware. Most Clefables are unaware. So let's hope this one is also, uh, it's, it's, uh, Man, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. What do I do now? I'm gonna go Magnezone and I'm just gonna Flash Cannon. I think that's my best play. Magnezone, of course, is still valuable to me, especially with the Butterfree in the background. So, Calm Mind again. I don't think, I believe Clefairy gets Focus Blast, but I don't think he's running the Focus Blast. I really don't. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit this thing with the flash cannon. Flash cannon, and I hope I do some good damage on it. It's not unaware, but it's not like it matters with the Magnezone, so. That's some good damage. I will definitely take that. Calm mind again for the Majin Buu. And Majin Buu is getting annoying. Now, what I do gotta be careful of is the wish. Because this thing is more than likely packing the wish. Now, what's my game plan next? I honestly don't even know. What I can do, I can, I can, I'm going to flash cannon, kind of scout what he wants to do, and I got to find a way to bring in the Slurpuff and Bally Drum. I think that's what I got to do to win this. So takes it like a champ. You're going to Moonlight. Okay, so he's running Moonlight and not the Wish. Very interesting. I've actually ran Moonlight also, so I can't really hate. Okay, so this is where I'm going to predict that it's going to go for... Either Calm Mind or Moonlight, so I, I can't really bolt switch, but I'm gonna go out into the Slurpuff here, and I hope it does not hit me with an attack, especially Flamethrower, because that would be bad. And I hope I don't get I don't get swept by Clefable. Because it's happened before. So Calm Mind comes out. Okay, that's that's good. I'm sweating. And it's not because I'm nervous, it's because it's really hot in this room. Okay. The special attack goes up again, that's perfectly fine. And I really, 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 really have to try to belly drum here. All right, ice cream, let's hit that belly drum. We got to try to hit this belly drum here. I am, I am unaware, also, or not unaware, I'm unburdened. I'm burdened Slurpuff, so I should be able to get a sweep, I hope. And I, don't, I didn't cut my HP in half, I'm an idiot. I didn't EV train this thing properly. Slurpuff, no! That is my bad. Uh, I did not EV train this thing properly, and I'm a little bit upset about that. I, I just lost. I lost. 
I mean, the best thing I can try to do is stockpile with Quagsire. I lost this. I lost this because I didn't train my Slurpuff like I should have. Moonblast again, that's perfectly fine. I'm, uh, this is a sweep. What a bummer, man. Just because I messed up my EV training. I am salty. I'm, I'm hella salty. Magnezone won't be able to do it. I know that for a fact. It's probably packing the... So it's Calm Mind, Moonblast, Flamethrower. I bet you it's Flamethrower because it's going to want to counter the Steel types. Come on, get a crit. Get a crit. No, that's not a crit. Oh, so it's Moonblast. It's still going to do a lot because it's like a plus five or something. That's a two-hit KO. And it lowers... Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Are you serious? That's a that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. So I'm just going to flash cannon. And I just got swept by Clefable, ladies and gentlemen. Really? You're going to Dynamax now? I was going to lose anyways. But this one stings. Like, seriously, bro. Seriously, bro. I mean, what I can do, technically speaking, I can Dynamax myself and do attacks that lower this thing's defense. I mean, I can try that, and then just come in with the version. Special defense falls one, and then it's not like that matters. So what I'm gonna do next, do I have any max moves that lower this thing's special, de or that's physical defense? What is the max move for that again? It's not the rock, it's not, it's, um, what is it? I don't think there is a one that lowers the physical defense. Yeah, I just lost this. That's a big bummer. I mean, the best thing I can do is I can Dynamax with Alakazam and hit the, um, so Dynamax Alakazam, hit the energy ball so I at least have the grassy terrain to work with. Oh, this lowers the defense. Okay, should I max Scrout or max Phantasm? I really want a Phantasm, though. Because I can at least lower this thing's defense. And then come in with Verizian. Now, I really gotta worry about the Butterfree now. It's really... It, it's, it's a real bummer that I didn't take into consideration that... When I cut my HP, it wouldn't trigger my Citrus Berry with the slurp up. And that's why I lost this one. That is why I lost this one. So we're gonna max Phantasm to lower this thing's physical defense. That does nothing, boys. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so Majin Buu's defense falls. At the same time, I also went for this instead of the the, uh, the Overgrow because I did not want this thing to gain HP. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna go out into the Verizian. And I can't Sword Dance, unfortunately, but best believe that I'm going to hit this thing with the Leaf Blade. It's a stab attack. I'm hoping it knocks it out. I really am. I really am. It probably isn't because it's still big. It's fat. It's big and fat. Ugh. The fact that he Dynamaxed, though, does upset me. It, it upsets me a lot. And that's the Wi-Fi battle. That's the Wi-Fi battle. At the same time, I can't be mad though because I would have lost anyways. That's a Clefable sweep. I've never seen a Clefable sweep. Except for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I've gotten swept by Clefable once, so I should have taken his lead card. It's a really cool lead card, but that's it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm sorry that we had to face an opponent that Dynamax because I'm a little salty, but I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. Peace.